I've been in Al-Anon for 36 years. Uh, I was introduced to Centering Prayer approximately 10 years ago and have been practicing that regularly. And interestingly enough, um, I was at a retreat where Jim and Dave gave a teaching on the welcoming prayer. So I actually learned about welcoming prayer the same time I did centering prayer. So it's always been a partner relationship uh, with these prayer forms to me. And um, they've been invaluable. They've made a huge difference in my life. Um, the story I want to tell now about how welcoming prayer has worked for me just recently is we have been estranged from a son of ours that, um, he's in his, he just turned 51, but, uh, he's, he's a great doctor, an awesome person, but he just has some issues with us that we've not been able to resolve. And, uh, even though they live two blocks away, we don't ever get to see him. And of course, I've used the welcoming prayer through that whole process of the different feelings that have come up, the, uh, the grief, the sorrow, you know, all the feelings and that come up in a strange relationship. And um, just recently, he called us, his wife was having surgery and asked if they could come and stay with us. And of course, I said, yes. Um, but the feeling that came up for me, which I think had been pretty much buried and hidden from even my own conscience, um, you know, Thomas Keating says we have this hard pan that divides the conscious from the unconscious and welcoming prayer is actually what works through that as these emotions or feelings come up, we can uh, enlist the welcoming prayer to keep those from going back down into the subconscious. And so I had uh, anger about the request because I thought, well, that doesn't feel comfortable to me when you've been saying no to me, but I'm a mom. So I said, yes, but uh, did process it through with uh, my program friends, did the welcoming prayer and that anger, of course, you know, just, I just went with it instead of trying to step it back down. And fortunately, I had a few days to process through that with the welcoming prayer and with the tools of the program. And by the time they showed up a few days later, all it felt like when they showed up was love and a warmth and a welcome. So um, that's how the welcoming prayer worked in, in this situation. And they've just gone home yesterday. So they were here almost a week and he was in and out, of course, but it just felt like a homecoming. And I honestly believe that in the years that uh, we've been estranged, that God did a huge work in my life that nothing really mattered. Nothing mattered about him or his behavior or um, what I felt like um, I needed from him, because it's, it's always about uh, letting go of our need for affection. And that was one of probably the one that was the primary in this deal. And I just, my husband and I both feel like we were relieved of that. And just whatever happens from now is okay too. So that's how the welcoming prayer worked for me in this circumstance. Uh, while my son was here, he uh, started discussing wanting to work through some issues with me, which of course I'm thrilled about. Um, and I knew there would be some you know, things that had come up for him recently um, that that I needed to get out of the way. And one of the teachings that I heard on Therese Saulnier talk about was when you're having a difficult discussion with someone, just send your eyes over to the left just for a little while, not directly eye contact, but a little over to the left and let that type of welcoming diffuse any emotion that might be coming up so that you can communicate more directly with them. And that that really kept me on target and kept me from having a reaction that I wouldn't have wanted to have. And actually gave me the opportunity to have a much more gracious response than I would have had on my own.